This movie is designed to uh, show you how to use paint to reduce the size, shrink the size of a photo so that it can be uh, transmitted more easily via email. So here we are in my computer. I'm going to go on to the uh, local disk drive number C or letter C. I'm going to check the documents and settings and then I'm going to pick the owner. In the owner I have my documents and in my documents I have my pictures. So, now earlier we had uh, made a uh, picture as a trial run and now we're going to go back to the original picture that we had. Now it has uh, properties that are, uh, show it to be almost 30 megabytes of uh, storage requirement. So, now we want to reduce that. So and we're going to use paint to do that. So we're going to open it with, well here there's, there's lots of things you can do. You can just plain open it with whatever you normally open it with. You can edit it. I've never done that. You can preview it. You can print it. You can refresh the thumbnail. You can rotate it one way or the other. You can uh, use it as a desktop background. And you can open it with a variety of uh, different programs. In my case here, we can uh, Paint is one of them. This Microsoft Paint is available on most computers under Accessories. Uh, I probably should show you that. Let's see if I can show you that right after we get into this. Because I'm going to, I'm going to sidestep here just a little bit. We're going to go to Programs. And in Programs, we're going to go to Accessories. Here's Accessories right here. And you'll see there's a number of things, kind of neat things here. And one of them is Paint. So you can also select Paint and then go to the file diagram and get the picture you want. So here we go. We're back to um, where we started from here. Here's the picture. It's a huge picture. It takes like five scrolls. Three, four, five scrolls to get across. Uh, the attributes are uh, 57 inches by 43 inches when it's 64 dots per inch. Or here again, 3600 by 2700. Okay, so now when we go over here, File, Edit, View, Image. First of all, one of the first things I like to do is I'd like to save it as something. I'm going to save it, I plan to save it as lock number 20, uh, low res solution. And I like to save it as a JPEG file that works good for pictures. And it doesn't work so good for diagrams, but it works good for pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, now, now we're going to actually modify it. But we won't be modifying the original picture because I don't want to change the original picture. I want to save that just in case. So I'm going to stretch this thing. And I'm going to choose 10%. That's okay. Another 10% here. So we put both the horizontal and the vertical axis are going to be shrunk by 10%, uh, down to 10% of the original. So here you go. And this is what it looks like. So now the image is actually uh, 365 by 275, or 3.8 inches by 3 inches, roughly. Or it's 4 inches by 3 inches. It's not bad. So. Uh, okay. Now, we can 
save it. We already did the save as part, so now we can just save it. And then the um, that's really all there is to it. So now in uh, my pictures, you have two pictures. One is uh, quite small. It's you know it's a uh, let's see if we can do our properties on it. You see it here. It's 20 kilobytes, which of course is a is a hundred times less than what it was. You'd think it would be 10% less. Well, it's a, when it gets to be an area, it's a hundred times. Each side is 10% of what it was. Okay, so uh, total space on the disk is going to be 24 kilobytes. Not bad. Uh, okay. That's really all there is to it. Later on we'll do one with uh, Microsoft uh, Picture Manager. It comes with uh, Microsoft Office 2007. And that can be kind of fun too.